I'm gonna do this video about placing my GPU. Why? Because I'm using this. Yes, a GTX 950 with 2 gigs of VRAM. Amazing thing, seven years ago, but now I'm not really. I cannot use it for most anything. I use DaVinci Resolve a lot, kind of struggle rendering. I have to use my CPU mostly, it's been doing all the hard work. All this, so I bought this RTX 3060 with 12 gigs of VRAM. I think it's a bit overkill. I didn't went for the 2060 because the prices are exactly the same. There's not a big difference, to be honest. It has more CUDA cores, so that was the reason. I tried to see the TIs. The TIs are a bit above this one, but too expensive, too overwhelming. I think this price, I didn't buy it for 4000 like I saw a few months ago. I bought it for 400 Still expensive. That's why we can get and see if it makes a big difference on my rendering effects. So I show you how to install it physically, how to install the drivers. Uh, there's many doubts about drivers before or after, but you can do both. You can disinstall the drivers. You're still gonna get image, don't worry. Or you can disinstall after and install the new ones. In this case, I'm switching between NVIDIA and NVIDIA card. So it doesn't give so much problems. If it was a different systems, probably, yeah, it could be a bit more problematic. That's the only thing I play is rocks me to have the team. This is a bit overkill for me. Anyway, let's have a look in the box. This is in search of the incredible. It looks like anti-static plastic. Just see what's inside there. Like, yeah, now oh, they supply this card. Card, warranty card. Yeah. And uh, thank you. Ooh, plastic everywhere. All the ports are protected. Plastic everywhere. Where uh, is this tip? God. Oh, we got a protection there too. Interesting. Some heat pipes, plated, more plastic. Things go really hot. If you don't take the plastic, this is gonna suffer. Also clean, no dust, pure perfection at the moment. Insertion of the GPU. So things, I turn off everything. No electrical stuff. Electricity. I think I have to get a few things in here. My previous graphics card. Little screws in there. It's a little clip in there. There. Press. It should come out easily. Ish. And there it is. It's out. It's out. a bit dusty, as you can see. See, this is my GTX 950. It's gonna be a big upgrade from the previous one. Yeah. This one, way, way heavier. Definitely. I'm just gonna put it. Okay. Clipped in place. Now to power up, this one needs six, so it's slightly different. You can see there's the little edges in there. Now it's well fitted. Yeah, screws on, well fitted. And now we just turn it on and see what's gonna happen. Hopefully it will be all right. Hopefully everything goes right. I think. Everything is looking good. Let's go to GeForce. Of course, I'm gonna use the Studio One. This is probably gonna take a while. Apparently it's working, it's not moaning, and I just need to download my drivers and see how it works. A few minutes later. So I installed the drives, uh, you can see in here. It looks okay. I installed the Studio version. And now optimizing DaVinci Resolve. Optimize. I'm ready for everything, even future reality. It works better now. Even on Drama Queen or the splash effect. Yeah, a bit more testing. It's working. Finally, my GPU. Some benchmarks and still my final review. Things I do not like is the ABG. I cannot get rid of this thing. I tried to install the software, but it doesn't take the card. Now I got like a purple light shining. Things I do like, there was a massive improvement in my render abilities from my previous card. The same thing that would take me 10 minutes to render without any effect. Six, two minutes, three minutes maximum. So quite surprising, big difference. DaVinci Resolve now runs very smoothly and very quick. That was a good buy. I don't appreciate too much the software of Asus. I think it's a bit of pain in the ass, very intrusive. But I didn't install the overclock option. And this is overclock card, so why not? Yeah, I would advise it. 
but probably my future projects will use more resources because now I can use it. Before I was completely capped. Each time I tried to use it, the system would fail and break down because I was trying to use a card of two gigs trying to do a project of 4K. It did work, but very limited. At the moment, I can just go all out. The other thing that made me decide to buy the card with ray tracing and all those things was a video from NVIDIA explaining the performance. When working I'll show you the video, video project, here. A common task is to slow down the action giving viewers a chance to appreciate a particular action scene. Speed Warp improves optical flow. Speed Warp utilizes the Resolve Neural Engine to apply a GPU-accelerated train neural network that improves the accuracy and output of the... So if I use those settings to do fake slow motion, because I don't have a camera that does real slow motion. Hopefully you like it. See you in the next video. And uh, yeah, it's a goodbye. I'm not returning for now. I was curious if I use the 350, if I get the same performance, but uh, I'm enjoying what I got. So I'm not going to downgrade for a hundred pounds difference, I think at the moment. Yeah, I'll keep it. Even though it's ugly, RBG. <laughs>